I do a lot of sardine fasting experiments here on this channel, and one of the most common comments that I get on these videos is, you need to watch out for your mercury levels, or you're gonna get mercury poisoning if you eat that many sardines. After getting thousands of these comments, I decided that we needed a freestanding video that addresses the question, will your mercury increase if you are eating a lot of seafood? In this particular video, we are going to be dialing in just on the sardines, because that is the seafood that I eat most often, and that is what I was eating when and I tested for mercury levels. So let's dive into this seafood and mercury narrative. We're gonna talk about what kind of testing you can do to see what your mercury levels are and figure out if there's any truth to this idea that if you eat seafood, your mercury levels will go up. So let's dive right into this. We're gonna start by talking about how you can test your mercury levels. There are a few different ways. The first way is a blood test. You can order these online. I ordered mine from ownyourlabs.com. And when you're ordering from Own Your Labs, you wanna make sure you're getting the mercury blood test, not the serum or plasma test. It's currently $79 on ownyourlabs.com. I'll put a link to it in the description below along with a coupon code where you can get 10% off your order if you would like to try this test out or any other test out for yourself. Now, for this mercury blood test, I ate 100 cans of sardines in one month. I figured that was more than enough to see if my mercury levels were going to increase. Here's the result from that first test and you can see that my mercury is very, very low. I had taken a mercury test, I think, gosh, six months beforehand, just as a baseline, it was a 1.4. And with the 100 cans of sardines, it was a 1.7. So I don't know that that necessarily went up per se, or if that was just a range. And you know, some people are going to have that argument that if there's any mercury in your system, that that is bad. But if you're looking at the reference range in this test where you would be considered to have acute mercury poisoning, that's usually above 10 milligrams in this test. So I was very, very low. Um, you really are only going to see that level of mercury toxicity if you accidentally consumed some mercury. So like if you had a thermometer with mercury in it and you accidentally consumed some of that, or if you're working in an environment where mercury is in the air or you know getting on your skin, like in some kind of industrial setting. Um, definitely, if you take this blood test and you're seeing mercury levels that high, you need to figure out where that is coming from and you need to get away from that source as soon as possible. But in in addition to this blood test, there's actually a more accurate way to test your mercury levels, and that is a 24-hour urine collection. I ordered this test on ultalabtests.com, and it was $62. This is a Quest Diagnostics test, so I had to go over to the testing facility first and pick up the urine collection jugs. I got two of them because I pee a lot, I work out a lot and drink a lot of water. Um, so I picked those up. Then the next morning, I started the test. So here's how you do this 24 hour urine collection. You get up first thing in the morning and you pee. You don't collect that urine, you just get that pee out. And then from that point, you collect all your urine for 24 hours into that jug. Uh, each jug is 3,000 milliliters or three liters. So if you're peeing a lot, like for me, I pee a lot, I got two of these jugs. After you've collected your urine for 24 hours, you bring the jugs back to Quest and they take a small sample and send it off to the lab. Basically, they are measuring how much mercury is in that 24 hour collection of urine. And if you have mercury toxicity, it will show up. This is one of the most accurate ways that you can test for mercury. So I dropped off my jugs of pee and about five days later, I got my results back. Now for this test, I ate 30 cans of sardines in 30 days. With the 100 cans of sardines, I didn't see anything. So I figured with the 30 cans, probably wouldn't see anything either. But a lot of the comments that I'm getting on my sardine fasting videos are saying like, oh, you can't eat more than one or two cans of sardines per week. Otherwise you'll have mercury poisoning. So I figured 30 cans would be more than enough to kind of push it in whatever direction it was going to go. So that is how much I ate before this test. But before we dive in to the results of my 24 hour urine collection test for mercury, I'd like to take a moment to thank today's sponsor, Element Electrolytes. Element is an electrolyte brand that has 1000 milligrams of sodium, 200 milligrams of potassium, and 60 milligrams of magnesium. I've been using them since the beginning of carnivore. And anytime I'm doing a sardine fasting experiment, I am drinking at least one packet of these so that I can stay nice and hydrated and keep my electrolyte levels, you know, balanced. 
I really like their raw unflavored packets because it's just the minerals, no flavoring, no sweeteners, no nothing like that. I do one packet in 24 ounces of water. Sometimes I mix it with plain sparkling water just to have a little bit of bubble in it. Right now, Element is offering my viewers a free sample pack with any order. So if you would like to try them out, you can head to the link in the description. It's drinkelement.com slash Jenny Midditch. That's D-R-I-N-K-L-M-N-T dot com slash Jenny Midditch and get your free sample pack with any order today. All right, let's dive into this 24 hour urine collection test result. You can see that I had less than four micrograms per liter of mercury in my urine. Very low, very just, you know, a normal amount of mercury. In this test, you need to have greater than 21 micrograms per liter of mercury in order to have acute mercury toxicity. And I am nowhere near that. Now we can't compare, you know, apples to apples here because the blood test is measuring something different than the urine test in as far as like what units they're using to measure. So it's not like I had a 1.7 and oh my gosh, now I have a less than four. Different tests, different testing, different fluids. So um, there's, you really can't compare them that way. Both tests showed that I did not have an increase in mercury regardless of the amount of sardines that I ate. So why do so many people think that their mercury is going to go up if they consume sardines or if they consume seafood. Well, a lot of that comes from the fact that large, longer lived fish like shark, tuna, whales, any kind of fish that's living a really long time, they can accumulate large amounts of heavy metals in their tissues. Unfortunately, our oceans are very polluted and the longer a fish lives, the more mercury and arsenic and other heavy metals can accumulate in their systems. But that doesn't apply to all fish. And sardines, for example, they're very small and they're short lived. They just don't have the time to accumulate the amounts of mercury and arsenic and heavy metals that would accumulate in a longer lived fish. But I do want to go back to these longer lived fish, tuna, salmon, things like that. You would have to consume a huge amount of these fish in order to see any kind of increase in your mercury levels. It's almost impossible to eat that much fish unless you're eating fish from a very polluted water source, which most people are just not doing that. I think an excellent example of this is the Japanese. Japanese eat a ton of fish and you're not seeing any kind of mercury toxicity in this population. It just doesn't happen. Now, if our oceans continue to be polluted, could that change in the future? Yes, of course. And that's something we should all be concerned about, even if we don't live near an ocean or a body of water. So do be sure to avoid dumping chemicals into, you know, just into the ground or putting batteries in the garbage or, you know, dumping your extra prescription pills down the toilet. Just avoid doing that kind of stuff. But in general, unless you're eating a longer lived fish from a very polluted water source, you are not going to be seeing increases in your mercury levels just from eating seafood, especially at the amount of consumption that we see here in America. Like we are not consuming that much seafood, at least most people aren't. I do have some tips for you on how to pick the very best seafood that is going to be the healthiest for you because not all seafood is created equal. First off, always make sure you are getting wild caught seafood. You're going to see a lot of farm raised shrimp and salmon and tilapia and things like that. Uh, but you really want to get the wild caught varieties because these farm raised fish are not eating what they're meant to be eating. Uh, these farm raised fish, they're eating a lot of grains and things that just should not be in their diet. Farm raised salmon, for example, they're given a special pigment that makes them that bright orange color that you see occurring naturally in the wild caught salmon. If they were not given this dye, their flesh would be really pale and kind of sick and you would not think, oh, this is salmon. That's why they have to put that dye in because otherwise people wouldn't buy it. Wild caught salmon eat a lot of crustaceans and krill, which gives them that color naturally. While some of the pigment that is fed to these, you know, farm raised salmon is naturally occurring. They just grind that up and kind of feed it to them with their food. Some of it is synthetic and you don't want to be eating that. So stick to wild caught seafood as much as you can. Now, some exceptions to this would be mussels or oysters. These can be farm raised because because they are just filtering through the water. They're not really being fed anything, so that's okay. Now, when you're looking at canned fish options like sardines, you wanna avoid anything that is canned with seed oil, so no canola, soybean, things like that. 
A lot of these canned fish are canned in olive oil, but you don't really know what the quality of that olive oil is or if it's been cut with seed oil. So a lot of people avoid even the ones canned in olive oil and just go for the ones canned in water. You can make that decision for yourself. I personally do both. I like the ones canned in water and I also do ones that are canned in olive oil. I hope this video was helpful. I know this is a common concern because I get so many comments about it on my YouTube videos, but it's simply not true. You don't have to eat seafood every single day in order to reap the benefits in increased omega-3s, but you know, throwing in a can or two a couple times a week is beneficial. And I don't want you to be scared to do that because you think your mercury levels are going to go up. They are not going to go up. A lot of people have concerns about arsenic levels in sardines as well. So if you're interested in that test, and if that is true, I'll link that video right here. I would also like to take a moment to thank our channel members. These people support the testing and data gathering that I do. In this particular video, the mercury blood test was $80 and the mercury 24 hour urine collection test was $62. And all of that comes out of pocket. So if you'd like to support me in any way, joining this channel membership is a great way you can do this. And as always, subscribing and liking this video is a free and easy way to support this channel and help it grow. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.